assalamu alaikum my dear children how are you all i hope you all are fine and safe at your homes today let us learn the new lesson that is colorful clothes in this lesson we are going to learn about the different kinds of clothes that we wear so let's get started do you find these pictures funny say why look at the first picture why it is so funny why because this man is wearing the sweater in the hot sun when it will be very hot do we wear the uh, sweaters or jackets children no that is the reason why this picture is so funny he is wearing the jacket uh, he is wearing the uh, sweater that's why he is sweating like anything he is feeling feeling so hot that is why it is funny now look at this girl she is not wearing the raincoat and that is why she is making the weird faces she is getting wet in the rain and she is not wearing the raincoat that's why it's very funny here now look at this boy this boy is shivering because of the cold there as you can see that there is a snow all over there and it is very cold so instead of wearing the sweaters he is standing just uh, without wearing the sweaters and that's why he is shivering that is why these pictures are funny we should wear the clothes according to the seasons am i right yes now let us learn about that different seasons different clothes yes depending upon the different seasons we wear the different clothes am i right yes clothes protect us from the heat cold and rain what is the meaning of p r o t e c t protect protect means keep us safe so if you wear the clothes then clothes will make you safe from the heat cold rain okay na we wear different kinds of clothes in different seasons yes right in the different seasons we wear the different clothes let us learn that we wear light cotton clothes in summer what is a summer season it is a hot season so in this picture you can see it is a hot season it is a summer so during the summer season what do we wear we wear the light cotton clothes so that our body will be cool and comfortable okay na why we wear the light cotton clothes in summer season so that we can be cool okay na they keep us cool that's why we wear the light cotton clothes in summer season now woolen clothes keep us warm in cold winters so in the winter season when it will be very cool what do we wear we wear the woolen clothes so that those woolen clothes will keep our body warm that is why we wear the woolen clothes in the winter season clothes also protect us from dirt and dust so if you wear the clothes they will protect us from dirt and dust also and also they will protect us from the insect bites okay na so clothes they protect us from heat cold rain dirt dust and also from the insect bites and depending upon the different seasons we wear the different clothes in the summer season when it will be very hot we wear the light cotton clothes in the winter season when it will be very cold we wear the woolen clothes and in the rainy season we wear the rain coats isn't it now look at these people talk about the different kinds of clothes they are wearing why do they need to wear such clothes look at this girl she is wearing light cotton clothes it means that it is a summer season that is why she is wearing light cotton clothes to keep her body cool look at this boy he is wearing the sweater and muffler around his neck why he is wearing such clothes why because it is a winter season so in winter season we wear these mufflers and jackets or sweaters isn't it now next one this man is wearing the raincoat why he is wearing the raincoat Why? Because it's raining. That's why to keep his body dry, he is wearing the raincoat. In order to not get wet, he is wearing the raincoat. In the uh, rainy season, we not only wear the raincoats but also we carry the umbrellas. So according to the season, we wear the different clothes. Okay, na? Now, where do your clothes come from? 
we all are wearing clothes but you don't know that from where we are getting the clothes so let us know from where we are getting the clothes do you know from where your clothes come let us know the answer we get cotton from the cotton plant look at this picture this is a cotton plant okay na and from the cotton plant we get the cotton and from that cotton the cotton clothes are made so from the plants we get the clothes okay na now look at here wool comes from the fleece of sheep comma the hair of camels and the fur of rabbits so woolen clothes when do we wear we wear in the winter season to keep our body warm so actually that woolen clothes are made from wool that comes from the fleece of sheep hair of camels and fur of rabbits what is the meaning of fleece fleece means the woolly coat of a sheep you can see in this picture this sheep is having the woolly coat that is called as the fleece so from the fleece of sheep we get the wool and also from the hair of camels and from the fur of rabbits we get the wool okay na and woolen clothes we wear in the winter season to keep our body warm next one threads of silk are made from the cocoons of silkworm do you have a special silk dress if yes then answer yourself and do you know what is a cocoon cocoon means what a cover of thread a silk worm makes to cover itself before it grows up that is called as the cocoon so from that cocoons the silk thread is made and that silk thread will be made into a cloth and we get the silk dress to wear okay na so not only from the plants we get the clothes from the animals also from the insect also okay na next one plastic or rubber is used to make rain coats and gumboots these help us to stay dry in the rain these help us to stay dry in the rain and umbrella also protects us from the rain so plastic or rubber is used to make the rain coats do you have a rain coat children if yes then go and touch it how it feels it feels like it's uh, it's like a rubber so rubber we get it from the rubber tree and our rain coats will be made up of the plastic or the rubber and it is used to make the rain coats and gumboots and if we wear the rain coats it will help us to keep our self dry in the rain and an umbrella also protects us from the rain so by these four examples what do we came to know we came to know that we get clothes from both the plants and the animals okay that is why we must not kill the plants or animals without any reason why because they are useful for us they give us the clothes to wear and also they give us the food medicine etc okay na well i would like to end up my discussion here inshallah see you in the next video with the continuation of this lesson till then stay safe stay connected allah hafiz